And here are my lovely players. Uh, everyone is here. Everyone can hear you now. Uh, hey, and hey, oh, uh, they, can, they can see you and everything. So uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Why don't you please introduce yourselves uh, and uh, introduce your character. Uh, and, um, and then we will, we will do a little bit beyond that after. So let's start with uh, Cynthia. Oh, hi, everyone. I'm Cynthia Marie. I'm playing Chris Rell Rythrion. Don't expect me to get that correct because <laughs> I'm playing a drunken mastered monk. Woo! Uh, Ryan. Hi, I'm Ryan Omega. I am playing Amvius Goliath Fighter. <laughs> uh, Marquia. Hey, I'm Marquia McCarty. I'm playing a uh, Air Genasi Rogue named Squall. Awesome. Uh, Ruben. Hi, everybody. I am Mox Ruby, uh, Ruben Bressler, and I'll be playing uh, Fire War Bafflestone. Uh, he is a deep gnome sorcerer, <laughs> um, and uh, he's just, he is just pleased as punch to be here. I'm excited for the adventure. Uh, Nega. Hi, I'm Nega Oryx, and today I will be playing uh, Treberos Ariesis, and she's a little elf druid, and she's so happy to be here today. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably my favorite character of Nega's. Um, okay, uh, Abria. <laughs> that was amazing. Hi, I'm Abria Iyengar, and I'm playing Scothor, uh, just a Tieflin conjuration wizard. Uh, I make stuff and you know blow stuff up the two things wizards do mm -hmm. wonderful welcome 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 okay before we get started because we did this with everyone and i know it's a little bit of a late start but i guarantee you you're going to want to do this we are going to do a little bit of trivia all right uh and what we're going to start out with is lord of the rings trivia oh shit okay <laughs> okay I'm if here. you get this right if you get this right you get an inspiration point. Everyone gets one inspiration point. Uh, and thank you for that uh, anonymous gift. Ten, ten gifted subs. Thank you nice. very much for that. Uh, welcome Ooh. all of you new substers. Uh, okay. Here we go. Who is Strider's first choice? You'll remember Strider was played by Viggo Mortensen in the movies. Mm -hmm. Who is Strider's first choice to ride with the wounded Frodo to Rivendell? Who uh, is Strider's first choice to ride with the wounded Frodo to Rivendell? First choice. Sam Wise guy. I don't know. <laughs> him. He wants to do it. Uh, yeah. Him? Himself? Strider? Himself. Yeah. I think that's is, right. Is that your final answer? Uh, I, fair disclosure. Right. Yeah. I don't even remember what I ate for breakfast today. I have no memory. For I, think, <laughs> I think you're right because <laughs> eventually yeah. it's Liv Tyler. <laughs> but I think that you're right that it's Viggo Mortensen. It is. It is himself. Yay. You got that right. Yay. Well done. Well done. So you Way all get go. inspiration. And then Liv Tyler's like, no, you're slow. I'm going to take him. Well, you y'all did so well with that. That... Uh, I yes, think it's all time. Of us, all of I know. Us. Yeah, I think it's time to bring out a D and D second edition trivia. Wow. Oh, okay. okay. Ooh. Um. Uh, Doping out. Uh, Marquia. <laughs> okay. Uh, choose uh, a level <laughs> one through five. Oh gosh. Um. Four. Level four. Okay. Okay. Uh. Nope. Well, no, you don't. You don't know the answer to that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, this is for everybody. Any anyone anyone in, in uh, uh, any one of our players can answer this. Uh, this is this uh, can Wait get a you. Wait second. Was level one like the easy questions, and I just messed us up? <laughs> you know, supposedly, but honestly, not really. They're all pretty difficult. Uh, right. Here we go. This is a story problem. Uh. Fallon, a dwarven fighter, has just found a ring of invisibility hidden in a secret compartment of a chest. 
He puts it on and wills himself to be invisible. He's horrified to see that his legs have disappeared. Nothing else, just his legs. Why did this happen? I will remind you, this is 2nd edition ad and I'll read it again. Fallon, a dwarven fighter, has just found a ring of invisibility hidden in a secret compartment of a chest. He puts it on and wills himself to be invisible. He's horrified to see that his legs have disappeared. Nothing else, just his legs. Why did this happen? Did he put it on his big toe? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> No. Uh, is it possible is it... that he's not attuned to the magical item? Or is it because it's made for small creatures like gnomes? <laughs> I mean, he's a dwarf. Aren't dwarves technically small creatures? No, dwarves no, are full, they're medium. Yeah, full size. Yeah. Oh, okay. My parents played second edition. I'm trying to remember the details of what dwarves are. The attunement I... answer is pretty good. Yeah, I started out um with second edition like way back when but god knows it's been a long time i have a stupid answer okay what's your stupid answer my stupid answer is i think dwarves are resistant to magic so he's like half resistant to the ring of invisibility okay so give me a final answer what is what is your final answer for this do you want to go with an attunement? Do you want to go with dwarves are resistant to magic of some kind? Or was this uh, ring supposed to go to something smaller than a dwarf? What do you think? You're I, think, let's I, go. Think, Ruben, I think you're right. I think there's something about yeah, the let's, resistance. All right. Let's try that. Ma magical resistance. That is correct. Dwarves hey. have a non-magical wow. nature. Yay. Which often causes magical items to malfunction around them. Well done. So you all, each of you, get two, nice. two points of inspiration that you can use in this adventure. Ooh, I, that's, I that's, really, that's a funny joke. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really enjoyed the mental image that Abria gave, though, of like a dwarf yeah. that just wanted to rock a toe ring. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I kind dwarf. of want that to be the answer. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Nega. You're the only one that understands. That. <laughs> got you. I got I you. I mean, I was with the toe ring thing, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm not going to put on a toe ring. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. Uh, here yes. we go. Welcome, everybody. We're here to play some D&D. Let's get started. Uh, the, here's what I want you all to tell me. You are an adventuring party who has adventured for years together. And uh, what I want to know is maybe we, we find you in the film of this adventure. We find you in situ. We, you are you are doing something right now all together. What are you doing? Drinking. Absolutely. Yeah, probably <laughs> hanging out at the bar. I'm drinking a can. Gambling. Ooh, yeah, Ooh. gambling sounds good. So you're at like a casino of I some kind? All of you. Yeah. No, yeah. just like a, like a speakeasy kind of bar that might have slot machines, sure. Why not a casino? Sure, we're at a casino. Yeah, we're at a casino. <laughs> casino. <laughs> oh, I am the stage show. I'm just conjuring. Oh, nice, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you're just a stage magician right now, just. Yep. Cool. So what, what kind of things are you conjuring? Uh, honestly, it's a lot of rabbits, but they all look like they're like frozen. Because <laughs> I can only make inanimate objects. <laughs> so they're very realistic, but they don't move. They're just like paper mache rabbits. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah. Everyone thinks I'm really good for a fake magician. <laughs> uh, amazing, I'm amazing. I'm standing off of the stage, making sure that no one gets on the stage. Oh, sure, thank yeah. Thank you, sweetie. I'm gonna be sleeping on the side of the stage with my my drink in my hand, passed out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm not particularly interested. I'm just sort of babysitting all of these troublemakers as I always am, so I'm just gonna watch and keep my eyes open keep my eyes peeled and make sure that no one like uh starts any trouble with our because we got like a unique kind of looking group so you know sometimes there's some trouble that, that is a brewing so yeah uh well just, done just just be in a chaperone through the crowd are you are you trying to do Can anything you or hear me okay yes y'all hear me okay yes <laughs> okay 
right. It's just on my end, I've got a lag going on. Um, I'm slinking through the crowd every now and again. I pop up and I'm one of those like, yeah, this is a great show. I wish I brought my kids. <laughs> You oh, know, nice. So you're kind of with kind of thing. And all the while I'm, I'm a stealing, I'm a stealing. Also. Oh, cool. Okay. So, <laughs> so you're like being a, like the hype man for, for uh, a Bria's character here. You're, you're going through the crowd and kind of getting people riled up. In the meantime, you are trying to steal from them. Uh, give me a sleight of hand roll. Can I give advantage? Cause I think we've been working together for so long that I like do a little like poof. Whenever I see her reaching. Yes. <laughs> Lights yes. out. Oh, yes, magic. you can. You can do that. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, support your support okay, your fellow. I'll, all right. I'll I'll roll with advantage then. Yes. Uh, oh, thank God. I needed that advantage. <laughs> um, so eleven plus six, that's seventeen. <laughs> Great. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, as you, as you're passing through, there's a, there's an elf couple with a young elfling, uh, next to them and uh, not a gelfling, but an elfling. And, uh, mm. you, you definitely <laughs> don't, don't get me started. Uh, you definitely move into the, their pockets and, uh, and you produce, uh, 10 gold pieces, one electrum piece and 18 platinum pieces. These, these are, they're ready. Least, they were. They came here for the casino. Yeah, Dang. this place is. <laughs> this place is a casino. Actually, yeah. uh, do I see? Uh, do I see any guards eyeing her? Uh, yes, they have. They there are guards around that are watching um, the proceedings. That they see what's going on. Uh, but, I mean, they they see the crowd. They're at the doorways around. You're basically kind of in a stage area, and there are casino games around you, uh, and uh, everyone is sort of huddled around in kind of a, a mass. It's exactly what you shouldn't be doing right now in our world, mm. but it uh, in this world, uh, luckily, they don't have to worry about that. So they are they are uh, on mass uh, watching uh, Abria's character. What's your character's name again? Scothor. 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 Yeah. So they are watching Scothor right now. Uh, and um, yeah, there you go. So uh, it looks like she got away with it. There's no, no yes. uh, ill into All right, good. They, they did not. Pleasure. They did not notice. Great. Uh, so as you're uh, performing your routine you're kind of coming to the to the the end and you all recognize that this is sort of the the end of the night uh the casino is open 24 7 so you can uh you can continue to stay here but the show is over uh yes take your bows wonderful wonderful and uh uh as you are um uh uh bowing uh someone comes running through and they push past the guards into the casino uh and they say there's a there's a horrible demon outside right now there's everything is coming down fire brimstone they're destroying the village everything is on fire well i raised awful i raised my glass how much <laughs> the, the, whole, the, the whole village is on fire that's how much no, no. Everything. How, on... how much money is it going to take for me to get up and go fight? Oh, just... that's adorable. Really? This, I mean, this is, it's, it's on fire. Well, and then, you, as... you hear a voice in the crowd go, yeah, you should pay them. I would. <laughs> I don't see the casino on fire. Is the casino on fire? The casino at this point is not on fire. However, uh, several sturdy folk uh, among in the crowd say, we will help you, and they go out. And the minute they go out, you just hear screams. Oh. Well, I think that, uh, I mean, they're going to... Oh, geez. Um, you'll have to forgive my uh, compatriots here. They're a little slow on the uptake, and I'll lean over and be like, look, if we want to have... We, we, this is good PR for us to, like, do good works. We could... I mean, we can negotiate later, right? I think now is... Uh, time is of the essence. Do you remember the last time we negotiated later? We didn't get paid? 
Yeah, that is but true. we still got we I mean we stole is the thing after we didn't get paid. So like it's still going to be okay for us like six one half dozen the other. I think we should just go outside and take a look. You know, it could be nothing. It could just be some knolls or something. I'll take a look. Scothor, are you all right for me to go outside and leave you alone? Oh my god, darling, you are so sweet. Go ahead. I'll be fine. Way back here in the back. You're good. All right, stay here. I'll go take care of this. And he goes outside. Uh, okay, so you you go outside and you are greeted to this must be hell. Uh, it is, oh my god, the fire pits of lava, uh, everything has just erupted around you, and you see imps uh, everywhere, uh, demons flying through the sky, and uh, it, it, this just looks like uh, it's, it's, it's hell on Faerun is what this is. This is, this is not what you uh, walked in from before when you came into the casino. It, everything was nice and pristine. It was beautiful out here. Crap. Okay. I go to the group and tell them, all right, hell just erupted. Even if we don't get paid, we could also all die. So make a decision on that because I'm not smart. Uh, give me a perception check, everybody. Okay. Uh, Ryan, you got this with advantage. All right. 18. 14. Ah! <laughs> Six. Twelve. Okay. I'm still robbing people. Yeah. Ev- I see nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Marquia, you, you see an opportunity, honestly, right now. Everyone is wrapped in what uh, is, is happening right now. The rest of you notice that, yeah, the casino is on fire. Okay. Great. Oh, Okay. Oh. Well, uh, I will head over to uh, to my compatriot at the door and peek out the door as well and hide behind my Goliath friend because he is, uh, well, he's he's easy to hide behind. And um, what do what what are the enemies like? What do they look like? Are there is there something to attack or is it just fire? Uh, yeah, I mean, you see, you see demon kind basically everywhere. Uh, you see, you see multiple, uh, uh, horned, uh, red slathering, um, uh, demonoids basically, um, uh, crawling out of lava pits, um, uh, uh, massive claws, uh, and, Looming in the distance, you see one particular massive demon who has something of a of a uh, the skull of a cow uh, on his head and massive curled horns uh, coming out, and he's he's got in his hand what looks like uh, a massive um, uh, club or or rod, and uh, uh, he he has cloven hooves, and he is. Uh, you can feel the earth shaking underneath you as you uh, are are uh, observing everything, and and pieces of the casino ceiling are are starting to fall down, and and um, and and everyone's screaming and scattering right now. I start running to the other team gra- to grab them and get them outside to safety. Okay. Uh, so y- you grab them. There's no role needed for that. So uh, unless someone wants to fight him on getting grabbed, uh, uh, <laughs> so you you so grab used to it. Just yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine you just have like this nonplussed look on your face of just like, mm-hmm, yep, carry me around. Yes, that's yep. great. Time for time to go for a ride. Wah! For the record, I'm I'm balancing, trying to catch my drink as I'm being carried around. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still trying to grab people's stuff while I'm being. I'm like, <laughs> I'm just admiring how pretty the fire is. Yeah. So do we you know what a we know what a demon and a devil look like, right? Like yeah. we hang out with we know well, so we hang out with Scothor, right? Yeah. And Scothor's tiefling. So like, what what is that one of your people? What do you mean, my people? Uh oh. Oh. Oh, but oh, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. 
what I, what I mean <laughs> is, is like there's a difference between demons and devils and what I mean is oh. like is that is that a demon person or a devil person okay uh can I get can I do I know the difference can I tell uh yeah sweet uh these are my people <laughs> Oh, oh, I saw him in a cookout recently. Hector, how the hell are you doing? Oh, hey, Scott Thor. Okay, yeah, feel free to kill him. You're Excuse good. Excuse me, but how do you, why? How do you know that? How did you go to a cookout with him? He and brought potato salad to hell. Do you know how quickly that goes bad? Take him out. And can you, <laughs> can you tell him to stop happen, this happening? Oh, no, probably not. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, that was worth a shot. What? So what? What should we should we make them stop by fighting them or or run away? Who uh -huh. has potato salad? I'm going to chuck it in his face. Why are we going to waste potato salad? Potato salad's very good for you. I don't think we have potato salad right now. I think we had it before. It's not. It's not a thing we have. Do we have potato salad? I could go make some. Do, do, would you want me to go make? No, some? probably not the time. Um, <laughs> are you sure? I really don't mind. <laughs> As fire is just <laughs> raining down yeah. on you. So how how far is Hector away? Because I'm I'm wondering if by this point I haven't tried to sneak behind him to steal some stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, you probably have had time to sneak around and steal some stuff. Um, uh, do you want to give a uh, you want to give a, a roll to try and steal stuff from Hector? Yes. <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh, this is going to wow. be, uh, yes, give me a sleight of hand at disadvantage. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, oh, actually not that. Okay, so eight plus six. That is a number 14. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you reach into a demon's pockets and um, uh, you pull out what looks to be uh, something silver, uh, which is interesting that a demon would have it, but it, clearly they were pocketing um, some, some silver items to keep it away from people. And as you draw that out, a blue light starts spinning around you and you all actually start noticing you are all being uh, surrounded by a blue light, which kind of moves up and down your body. Uh, several, uh -oh. uh, several lights kind of start moving around you as the world starts fading out of existence from what you see, and then suddenly is stretched uh, in front of you as 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 if someone just pulled it uh, and and tugged it, and uh, like you would take silly putty and stretch it out and watch uh, Garfield get all tall. Anyway. Uh, uh, that was oddly specific, but that's my how I grew up. Uh, so mm -hmm. that's what's happening right now. You are all being essentially sucked into a a uh, a a tunnel of light is the best way that you could probably describe it. You can see each other and all of you are stretched uh, uh, like you're being uh, in a in a massive vacuum. And as you go, you are seeing visions of uh, creatures and lands that uh, you maybe have only heard about in legend you you see a uh, uh, a, a a village where people are riding what seem to be uh, uh, half uh, chicken half lizard creatures with two legs uh, there's a it looks like a dwarf and maybe a barbarian and maybe uh, uh, two barbarians a, a man and a woman barbarian and a dwarf you're not quite sure but but the axe certainly looks special you might want to try and get that if you could ever stop it you can't stop you're still going and as you come down things start uh, shrinking back down to normal size and the speed at which you are going slows down and you are uh, suddenly back kind of relatively where you uh, uh, felt that your um, your body should be in 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 this in the scheme of things you you're back I think to what you thought and as the world starts to everything kind of slows down like like you're coming out of warp basically uh, although your characters have no idea what warp is I'm using uh, meta knowledge on that sure. so uh, the world's uh, solidifies and you are 
finding yourself standing in a field. And uh, in this field, you uh, have created uh, a... The blue lights vanish away from you and they actually blow out on all sides of you and they uh, create a a sort of massive uh, shockwave around and it just the, the you kind of hear a thunder clap as it goes and it just sort of echoes in the distance and you find yourselves standing in the middle of a field, a field of what looks like to your eyes wheat. Uh, the skies are dark and gray. Uh, almost um, supernaturally so. They, they, this doesn't seem like... It's clearly daytime here. There is light out, but there is no light in the sky that you can see. Uh, and you find yourself um, uh, looking out around, and there appears to be a uh, fountain in front of you, uh, it, which has a what looks like a kind of brackish uh, 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 water uh, uh, of some kind. It's it's a liquid of some kind, uh, and and that appears to be in the center of of a group of fields. Uh, first thing that Squall says is, "Twas it me, was the sorcerer." Ah. Hey, that's a. I didn't do that. What? Where? What? Where are? What's happening? Where are we? Do okay, I know what's ball. happened? Hector's potato salad is ass. Facts. Facts. Uh, yeah. I, I literally jump off of uh, of the Goliath and run towards the um, the fountain without really telling anyone. I just stealth out and like start moving. Okay. Great. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, um, let me start. Okay, Ruben, you uh, you don't know exactly what happened. This appears to be some sort of transportation, but it's nothing you've ever... You've teleported, you've done other things before, but this is not exactly a fashion. This doesn't feel uh, arcane of any kind. Hmm. Uh, but but it, you get that sense in your... In your uh, uh, in your body that, that you have been moved. In fact, actually, can everyone give me a constitution saving throw? Ooh. DC 14. Ah, wow. That's a natural one. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Don't forget you have inspiration if you'd like to reroll. Oh, Five. Right. I will... On this be, one, I'll be, I'll be okay. I will use inspiration. Ooh, I'm going to use inspiration. Okay. Uh, 15. Yeah. All right. Natural 20. 20. Whoa! Hey, I got twelve. Mm, mm, mm. I will say I have advantage against uh, eleven uh, magical effects. If this is a magical effect, it's, it is not a magical effect. Also, you know what? Just... I will give you advantage on this. You okay. you have transported before. You just know this is not magic, but ah, well, not a natural one. That's a, that one's a natural two. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, Hey, so, that's uh, twice as good. Yeah, yeah. you you double the eight. I rolled an eight because <laughs> I'm good at Constitution saving throws, but not this one. Supposedly. <laughs> so, uh, uh, um, uh, raise your hand if you failed that. Uh, well, I got an eleven. So what's what's? Yeah, it was the DC fourteen. Roger so, that. I failed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you failed that, then uh, you feel sick to your stomach, and uh, hmm. a little bit, a little bit comes up maybe. A little uh, bit of salsa. Uh, <laughs> Nega, you are like, wow, that was really cool. <laughs> that we was just perfect. Have to like be one of the trip when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> you can't push back. You can't resist. Like, I Not wish your I first could, rodeo. I wish I could have taken you with me when it happened, where I just went, it was magical. This I feels like people from my shoulders, just in case they're about to puke on me. This yeah, feels like yeah. one of the drinks that I don't like to drink. Yeah, yeah, this is this is not a good feeling. Uh, but anyway, Cynthia, you run to the fountain all the all the while you're you're retaining you're not it, it's it might be coming out a little bit but it it's it's okay you're okay it's great i'm used to this yeah, yeah. I'm used to that. 
Uh, it's like when you run in the morning after going drinking the night before to like yeah. sweat it all out. Yeah. Um, everyone, give me a perception check, if you would, please. And Cynthia, you can give this to me with advantage. Um, what's the silver object that I pickpocketed from the demon? I don't know. What is it? Oh, let Whoa. me do this perception check first, and then we'll, <laughs> we'll address that. I got a 17. I got a three. I think I'm just barfing off of the guy's <laughs> shoulder. <laughs> I can barely see up over the the sheaves of wheat as I'm looking around for seething, and I can't uh -huh. pull. I'm also <laughs> yeah. I, I've, I'm also and not I'm really a call there. Puke on my outfit. Okay. Okay. I rolled there a ten. Okay. There isn't anyone to steal from, so I'm not distracted. I got a twenty-three. <laughs> nice. Ooh, nice. I, I got a twenty-three too. Oh. Hey. Awesome. So everyone uh, who got over a 15, um, uh, you distinctly smell what smells like alcohol uh, from the fountain. It, it smells like like a, a beer or an ale of some kind. Um, uh, Scathor, I imagine that you are uh, like puking like the gnomes in Gravity Falls where just rainbows are yep. coming out and they're just Absolutely. splattering <laughs> all over the Goliath. No, no, no. Uh, oh, she, she you got off. She like, get some clearance. No, Great. she's just leaning off. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. That's Great. Angle. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh, wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Smells um, like wheat to me. <laughs> uh <laughs> Yeah, well, it's this is definitely this this odor. Well, yes, you just smell the wheat. That's all you smell. Uh, right. But but everyone else can smell the uh, the alcohol coming off of this fountain. Sprinting. Yeah. <laughs> I I do want to take this chance to investigate the item that I stole. Uh, okay. Specifically, investigation. Yeah. Uh, okay. Give me an investigation roll. I will end up moving in the direction of everybody else because I'm so much slower than everybody, especially Holy crap. Nice. Okay. Um, 24. 24. Um, uh, you have found, you are positive that this is a silver ladle plus one. Plus one silver ladle? Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's a masterwork awesome. silver ladle. Um, I'm going to serve all the soup. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you could serve soup with this. No question about it. I mean, this is this is a prime example of ladleware that, that you could find on the Sword Coast. Uh, they're, they're known for the ladles there. And uh, uh, this is this is probably one of the... Some call mm. it the Ladle Coast, as a matter of fact. Yes, yes. Can. Chef's kiss. Daggerford, more like Ladleford. Ladleford. <laughs> uh, uh, so what's, what are the stats on my, on my silver ladle? <laughs> uh, you, you can scoop at a plus one. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. I'm sure this will this will come later. back. This yep. will come back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Than I, you think. I head in the same direction um, to the fountain because I'm afraid she may indulge too much. Mm -hmm. So just in case someone needs to hold back her hair, I can do that. Uh, as we walk over, I'm just gonna envious. Sorry about that, darling. Uh, can I see your your weapon real quick, just in case? You want to see my big axe? Yeah. And uh, she puts uh, her hand on it, and I'm going to cast magic weapon on your weapon. Nice. So now it's a plus one. I think she does this a lot by way of, like, an apology. Mm. <laughs> I think I got some rainbow on your boot there. Here you go. That's okay. I don't have any other color on me. <laughs> Fine. Now let's and go you're welcome, I guess. That, the fountain of beer. Beer fountain! I mean, it's, it's a beer fountain! And he yeah. starts running faster. <laughs> I apparently hear him running behind me. <laughs> yeah, so you're already there. What would you like to do? So before I drink, because I'm not a dumb drunk, I would kind of like to kind of sniff it and see if it's like, if there's anything weird about it. 
Uh, okay. Um, uh, give me, give me a sniff check. Give me a perception. I can do that. Twenty-two. Uh, well, it definitely smells like alcohol. This is this is absolutely. Right. Uh, you're getting the overwhelming sensation that that there is something uh, of that nature in it. However, um, something in the back of your head is just telling you that while this probably, um, I mean strange alcohol coming out of fountains i don't know it's it's that's kind of weird you've not really uh had to deal with that so much but uh you know you could always i guess give it a shot but you're definitely yeah. getting a nagging sensation right now that that maybe this isn't the best thing to drink but to your senses this just smells completely of of beer basically Great, so I take out my secondary water skin, not the one that I normally drink from, but my other one. Okay. And I scoop it up and just close the cap just just to have it. Investigate Great. that later. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Uh okay. Free booze. You do it. You do that. You scoop it in. Uh all right. Anyone I think else? At this point I arrive. Yeah. And I just look at the beer and I start bending over. I put my hand to his head, I'm like, no. <laughs> But beer fountain, it's right there. I, oh, no, oh, we, we, oh. Don't, we don't know it. it actually is. Calm down. Calm oh, down. Oh, God. I saved some for later. Okay. Okay. You can let go of my face now. <laughs> uh, and with that, uh, you hear a halt. Oh, not again. And as you spin around, uh, you are surrounded by what you understand to be uh, flumps, but they are not flumps. Um, there's something odd about them. Flumps, you know, are telepathic floating creatures with some tendrils and eye stalks. Uh, and they're generally happy-go-lucky. They don't, they have, you know, they're, they're fine. They usually live in the Underdark. Uh, these are clearly not flumps. They are slightly larger than a flump. They are a dark gray red um they have glowing red eyes the ends of their tendrils are covered in spikes that look very dangerous and around the mouths that they have which you haven't really encountered a flump with a mouth but these do they have uh some hair in the in the style of a goatee <laughs> i get it that's great <laughs> um, I immediately climb up onto Ryan to get up onto like his shoulder to sit on his shoulder. Great. Yeah. Yeah. You do that. Uh, and you have, so there's, there's a, a, a large group, about 20 of these, let's call them grumps, um, and, uh, pointing spears at you. They, they're holding spears rather awkwardly, uh, in their, in their tendrils, but pointing them at you menacingly. Uh, and from the center of these grumps comes a, a, uh, slightly larger grump, even from that, who floats towards you. And he has a, a little bit of, a specks of gray in his goatee. Uh, but he, uh, he goes, uh, are, um, are you from, uh, okay, you're not from around here. I already know that part. Um, but I think that you probably came from somewhere else, right? You like uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, fi fi run fi run fi run. You have uh, quite the powers of de deduction there. Yeah, well, this is not the first time that this has happened. Um, listen, uh, your friends have already gone. Uh, they've already taken some of the dire crumpets up to uh, attack the saucer. So I'm just going to try and catch you up to speed here. Uh, we are under attack. And uh, he points and he lifts one of his tendrils and points up into the sky. And I don't know how you all missed it beforehand, but there is a giant saucer 
in the sky and it's rotating ever so slowly and it looks like it is made out of a ceramic almost and uh it is uh it, it is sort of a a chalky white um look and it literally looks like a tea saucer like a cup saucer yeah. uh but it is upside down uh, from what you might uh, imagine a, a teacup saucer to be. And uh, it is it is hovering in the distance. Although it is looming and giant, it, it clearly appears to be uh, even larger than you could you could imagine as it is uh, it is quite a ways away from you. but the, the sheer size of it is uh, um, almost um, taking over the sky. Is it like Squall Independence at, yeah. Day? Sorry. Uh, is it like Independence Day sized? Like it? It's oh. certain. It's 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 along the lines of an Independence Day sized mothership. Yeah. Got it's, it. Got it. Okay. It is yeah. big. Squall looks at the group and goes, "We should steal that." <laughs> at this point, uh, at this point, Farwar finally makes his way out of the wheat because he's so slow and with the short, stubby legs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and as you do that, uh, the the large grump who who stood out from from the rest kind of goes, oh oh oh, he, there's another one, there's another one, and he reaches behind him, and they kind of drop their spears. They just drop their spears. They don't even like holster them or anything. They don't normally carry spears. They all fall to the what? ground, uh, and he he comes forward and he. Uh, Says my name is Butt Circle. <laughs> that's, that's a I don't unique name. You, I, it's not funny. It's my name. Um, Who named you? It can be both. Uh, it's, it's that's it's... true. It can be both. Listen, I don't like you, and um, you probably don't like us. Uh, we're evil. We don't really care. But there's a problem going on, and I guess we kind of need your help. So let me tell you what I know. What I know is that adventurers like you have been transported here to this planet. Our planet is a peaceful planet. Well, I mean, once we took it over. But anyway, it is a peaceful planet now. And, uh... Adventurers were being transported here in large numbers and fighting us. And when they would defeat our numbers, uh, they would steal our diet, our dire crumpets. Now, when you say dire crumpet, what is mm -hmm. what is that? And do you have any on you right now? <laughs> of course. And he brings a tendril up to his mouth and he makes a whistle sound and he calls for Roshannon. Roshannon, king of the dire crumpets. And from over everyone's heads, this massive crumpet uh, flies over and then hovers next to Butt Circle and uh, just floats next to him. And this appears, for all intents and purposes, this appears to be a, a, a very, very, very large crumpet, something like eight feet across uh and with a a mouth full of pointy teeth and what looks like you could you could easily go either way it's could be jam it could be blood you don't know uh but it looks vicious this is roshannon this is my dire crumpet we were bonded at birth and we have been together ever since mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, just a, mm -hmm. a quick question you, you if we were to pour liquid anywhere near you, would you not be there anymore? Talking to the crumpet, by the way. The the crumpet, you can't really tell uh, if it has eyes or not, um, but you can tell in the porous uh, bread-like structure that forms the crumpet, it kind of turns towards uh, Butt Circle, and uh, Butt Circle turns towards it, and then he goes back to you and says, I, I don't follow. It's not, That's... it's probably a local thing. I don't know. This is weird. Yeah. Oh, anyway, do you, what? wait, do you also eat bread? Yes. 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 
Wow. When we can afford it. I bet that's weird for you, huh? Uh, yeah, it's kind of gross. I start okay. licking my lips when insatiably when I look at the crumpet. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Bro. hey, watch it. Watch it. Hey. <laughs> you know, this might as well have happened. So, what? what is the, what is the, um... How do I get out of here? How do I leave this awful, horrible place? Oh, you oh, oh, okay? Uh, you want to leave, right? Well, you well, can you do. Well, you said that you're not. You said you're evil and that we don't like you, right? And then there's also no bread, so oh I don't no, really we have be tons of bread. Anymore. We have tons of bread. I mean, we just keep making it. We don't eat it. That's oh, what? Weird. What? What do I you mean, do with it? Eating it. I mean, it's we're evil. We just let it rot. But can what? you can you define that's, what you mean by evil? That's not evil. That's stupid. Right. That's just wasteful. Well, wait, well, wait. We do don't, you make yeah, it rock so that you can make beer for the beer fountain? Ooh. Beer Good fountain? Question. Beer fountain. There's a beer fountain over there. Is that I hold up my water skin. <laughs> oh, you think that's a beer fountain? What, what is what it? Is it's it? Not beer fountain. <laughs> Don't uh, tell him it's a disappointment. It's uh, uh, it's not a beer fountain. And he kind of shifts his eyes. His eye stalks kind of look down. And if he could uh, kick a rock, he might kick a rock. But uh, yeah, he says that's not a that's not a beer fountain. That's a sacred fountain. Of what? Of of our of our urine. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I pour, I okay, pour listen, <laughs> listen, you asked. Oh, I, I didn't, I I, come on. That. Oh, no. Come on. I pour out my water skin. Do you just go drinking random fountains everywhere you go? Come on. Okay, but all I'm trying to say is it still could be beer. <laughs> I mean, listen, I will tell you the previous party seemed to enjoy it, the ones who drank it. I don't know why, but... They seem Wait. to get something out of it. Who what? would do that? What are you eating that that's what your urine smells like? <laughs> what your diet? It smells like alcohol. Are you okay? We, we eat adventurers. Oh, no. oh no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm gonna start sneaking behind them. Pretty straight up, cause we're bad, we're evil. Yeah. The you more you say it, the less you, I believe it. You can yeah, be I'm with you. And healthy, though, really and truly. Yeah, me I mean, can you, you though? Anyway, uh, you want to get home? <laughs> I take it, right? Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. This is weird. Listen, the best thing I can tell you is uh, uh, you need to get onto that saucer, okay? I, I I don't have any more dire crumpets that I can spare right now. The 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 the, the beings that are attacking us. Well, uh, how can I put this? Okay, you know what a teacup looks like. Yes. 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 Okay. Have, uh, animals. Well, I don't know. I didn't want to make a guess. You know, as to what you were. Maybe teacups are animals here. We don't know. No, that would be silly. But these You're things. You're silly. These. <laughs> I'm evil. There's a difference. You look like someone spilled a bowl of noodles. There, I said it. I've oh. heard that before. I um, want to rifle through his pockets. <laughs> you want to rifle through Butt Circle's pockets? Yes. Does Butt Circle um, have I, pockets? I've snuck <laughs> behind him by this point. Uh, okay. Uh, behind the Butt Circle. Uh, <laughs> You can give me a sleight of hand at disadvantage, knowing that okay. he is still surrounded by uh, yeah. his his grump minions. They they see they I... clearly see you, <laughs> but they're not stopping Let's you right now. Let's see. <laughs> Maybe he's not well liked. <laughs> I mean, they are evil. Disadvantage. No. Can we just do regular roll? <laughs> uh, disadvantage is a four plus six is a ten. The other yeah. one was a seventeen. Uh, so I got a I got a I got a ten on that one. So you reach up and you kind of you you deftly move a tendril to the side and another tendril to the side. There's there's a lot of tendrils here and you kind of reach up and you're pretty sure 
you're you found a pocket and then butt circle goes and uh kind of zooms up in the air about 10 feet and then comes back down he's like what why would you what are you doing well i find you attractive hmm okay that i mean consent you ask first. That is a really good point. <laughs> that is a really good point. Well, and I accept gotta, that. And evil. I apologize profusely. Yeah. Uh, well, you're evil. For, she, that's like a right. thing, right? Apologies we still believe school. in consent. I mean, you know, it's still a good rule of thumb. Ventatsu, thank you for gifting 10 tier one subs to the channel. Wait, Very much have appreciated. Thumbs. Thumbs. Thank yeah, same page. <laughs> hey, we did high it. Five him. High five. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Okay. Uh, but seriously, this, uh, these things are coming out of nowhere. It's, it's almost impossible to stop them. They, they're like what giant, things? Uh, they're giant teacups. Okay. I, I, I don't know what they're made out of, but they, 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 they look like a teacup. They're full of tea. The last one we fought was iced tea and, 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 and it just, it, it was super powerful and, and, and cold and, 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 why are you looking at me this way? This is real. This happened. It sounds ridiculous. You well, know, it sounds ridiculous, right? It sounds a little ridiculous. Well, you know what, mister? You what? look ridiculous. Got him. I'll and he puts up a tendril. Know that I am three and a half feet of man. He sir. gets 25 high fives with his tendrils. Um, got him. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fair, so, you did get him, but... When you <laughs> fought the iced tea, did you use sweetener? Right. Oh, no, that would have been a good thing to do. Yeah. Well, you have no. to... You, to fight an iced tea, you have to mix in the sugar before it's iced, or else... Well, I don't have a, I don't have time to explain the science behind it. Do you, do you have a lemon... Do you have lemons here? Perhaps we could do a lemonade and make an, a palmer of some sort. Hmm. This would have been great information to the previous adventuring party. Uh, only yeah. one of their members died. Uh, yeah, we lost them. Uh, they were alive when they left, hey. but uh, we're hey. evil, so we didn't really actually help them. So well. what tea is left over now? Is it green tea? I, I don't know. I mean, that's the first thing we saw. So what they've been doing is they've been transporting adventurers and they've been coming in and the adventurers just don't know what they're doing because they're dumb adventurers and they just kill all of the grumps. And then somehow mm. then these guys come in and they kill the adventurers and they take all of our dire crumpets away. All right. So I, what have... you need I don't know what I do with myself do. if I lost Roshannon. Roshannon kind of winnies. Yes. Winnies? Okay. Yeah, Two yeah. questions. One, how would you propose for us to get up to the teacup? And two, where is the dead body of this adventurer that probably still has all of their stuff on it? <laughs> that is a smart line of mm -hmm. questioning. Interesting. Good job. Interesting. Um, uh, oh, uh, number two, uh, we burned it. Uh, number one question, um, uh, how to get up to the saucer? Well, um, yeah. we've been working on something, I think, uh, that can get you up there. Um, uh, hey, uh, uh, Lenny, uh, Pooh, P, can you come over here for a second? And they, uh, three, three, uh, three grumps float over and they're like, yeah, yeah. How can mm -hmm. I help you? Uh, did, did you, uh, you got this thing working? And they're like, yeah, yeah we have some kinks to, to work out, but, uh, yeah, we can, uh, we think we can get them up there. Um, okay. All right. Great. This is great. This is awesome news. Uh, so, okay. We've got a thing. Uh, we call it a pentagram and it's, uh, it's in actually another, uh, town. We just have to travel over there. It's going to be pretty quick and easy. No problem. You get on the pentagram. We cast a spell. It shoots you up, gets you into the uh, saucer. I think it's going to be, uh, it's going to be lightning. It's going to be great. You in? Any, any, what looks like he's giving you a thumbs up, but you can't really tell. Do we, uh, d does that sound familiar to me? Does that sound like some, a, a art, like a magical thing I've heard of before? Um, uh, yeah, give me an arcana roll. Okay. Twelve plus six, eighteen. 
Yeah, this, uh, I mean, what you know, uh, in terms of rituals and stuff like that, this sounds like it's probably going to be a mass teleport spell is what they're going to try and do. Okay. Um, uh, so, uh, anyway, if you guys now, uh, everyone give me a perception, uh, check. No disadvantage, just a straight perception roll. Ooh, I got a nat 20 plus 5 is a 25. Yay. Nice. Ooh. 15. Hmm. So I had one of those. I had a six. Had one Nineteen. Of those, one of those clear drunk moments where you just like everything becomes. <laughs> yeah. Clear. Yeah. Uh, so uh, everyone uh, but Ruben, uh, you feel the earth shaking under your feet. Uh, you feel the sky tumbling down. A tumbling. No. 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 Um, <laughs> you. Uh, your sort of fight or flight response tells you to try to find some sort of cover or get get out of here. There, you're really there's your cover list essentially. There's not a whole lot to dive under, but what you can feel is that something is coming and it's coming fast and it's coming from beneath you. Well, I'm sitting on top of the Goliath, so right. I will do what I always do, me. which. I was gonna hide under the Goliath, but okay. uh, what are the flumps? What are the grumps doing? They're floating. They they don't. So they don't feel it at all. They don't feel it at all. I'm gonna leap on top of the nearest grump. Okay. Uh, give me give me an athletics uh, right athletics acrobatics. Give me an acrobatics roll. <laughs> oh yes, I, I like our acrobatics more than athletics. So yes, I apparently I'm... don't feel anything. So I'm just sort of like, oh, I got another, oh, another one coming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sixteen plus six is a number. Twenty. Twenty-two. Two. I I had it. I had it. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, you you reach out and grab one of the grumps, and uh, you manage to get yourself onto their back, and they kind of dip down a little bit uh, from from their float. They float about ooh six or seven feet off the ground, while their tendrils just hang, sort of uh, languid uh, down towards the ground. But uh, yeah, you are successfully on one of the grumps, who is not happy that you are on them. But uh, there you go. <gasps> Um, yeah, um, Squall says to the Grump, um, I'm not touching you without permission. I just wanted to show you this ladle. <laughs> Do you show the ladle to the Grump? Yes, I'm like. <laughs> that, the, the Grump kind of, its eye stalks open wide and it goes, my, my gods, you have it. The masterwork yes, ladle. I, yes, I do. Wow. I have it. Well, this was prophesied millennia ago. Anyways. Squalo wipes their nose on their <laughs> sleeve and is like, yes. <laughs> is uh, Squall your leader now? Is Squall now your ruler? Uh, no, no, that's not, that wasn't the prophecy. It was just like, oh, wow, you'll find it. Cool. <laughs> anyway, um, so as you, uh, so you all kind of hide as best as possible, except for Ruben, who just is kind of like vomiting in a corner a little bit. Um, uh, I jumped into uh, the Goliath's arms and I want to talk to, can I say something to both uh, the monk and the Goliath really quick? Yes. Just like while I'm there, I'm like, hey, we're going to take that dire crumpet. Got it. Yeah? Got yeah. it, yes. Okay, cool. Now who's oh, evil? But it. how? <laughs> I mean, can we just ride the dire crumpet because it floats? Oh. I mean, you potentially could. However, you can't right now because as you are talking, the ground erupts underneath you and uh, you fall. Uh, however, the grumps actually come and and help most of you, uh, Marquia, you are riding a grump, so you just sort of float down to the ground. But the the rest of the grumps, like one grump goes to to carry the Goliath and realizes that there's no way it can do this on its own, especially if you're carrying other people. And uh, like 14 more grumps come over and, and they just all tentacled around you and they grab you <laughs> and uh, they grab you, Ruben, and they grab you, Nega, and they just take you and you start slowly floating down and the 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 ground has opened up into what looks like a cave system. And uh, 
the minute you drop down, uh, all you can see, uh, the, the ground then sort of reshapes over your head. And there is a, um, what looks like a, a, uh, you can see some sort of light source that is lighting things, but the whole cave is covered in a mist or a fog of some kind. All you see next to you are like stalactites and, and stalagmites kind of coming uh, from the ceiling and the floor. I forget which goes which, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, right. And uh, yeah, you can barely see, um, uh, uh, you know, several feet in front of you. Except for me, this is my natural habitat because I'm a deep gnome. I have dark vision out to 120 feet. Great. Good for you. Uh, <laughs> I got dark vision too. This is way better. See? This is much better than being up in the stupid sun. I mean, honestly, I agree. Sun? It's not like a sun. Squaw looks up and goes, I miss the sky. Um yeah so uh basically you're 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 in a f how far is your dark vision me Go. yeah 120 okay great yeah so you can uh it's it's not it, it's not that it's dark vision it's kind of your it's obscured because it's a fog uh okay. so uh it's not dark per se you know if you go out in a foggy day you can still see yeah. you but uh but it's not it's not dark per se but Got yeah it. you are okay. underground but this okay. there's a fog that has surrounded uh you all and um the thing about this fog is that it feels uh there is a a a warming sensation about the fog Your throat feels great, everybody. Really if you good, if yeah. you were puking earlier, that irritation has sort of died down, yeah. and you're and it's it kind of feels a little bit better. Yeah, uh, you made a fire. It's nice. nice. Okay. And and then you uh, uh, you hear a voice, which sounds like it's coming from all around you. And it's like adventurous, defeat your grumpf companions, and we may let you live. What? Who's, Who's talking? Asking? I'm I'm talking. Ne never mind. Just do it. Are are there grumps with Where us are you? right now? Yeah, the grumps are kind of like looking at you. Like, are are we doing this right now, or are we friends? Cause... I mean, do you know who's talking? Uh, Butt Circle turns to you and says, "I, I don't know. This is not. I have not encountered this before, but." I will I will take a ride on Roshannon to try to discover what's happening. And he hops on Roshannon and they take off through the fog and immediately they're, <coughs> they're they disappear. You do not see where they uh, went. Uh, Dang it. Um Squall Squall leaps off of the di dire tentacle that mm -hmm. they were on. Mm -hmm. uh, and she goes, I've already have two strikes with them. Uh, touching without permission. I'm not cool with this, but whoever we kill, I need to steal something. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, you are the owner of the ladle, so I suppose you are allowed to do that. Uh, and that grump steps away from you. Uh, do any of you want to engage the grump that is, uh, that are around you? They're mostly around you, Ryan, but you are carrying a bunch of people, so. I don't well, think so. I'm not going to do anything just yet. I'm just curious. Mm. I, I mean, we haven't really gotten wages yet, so, uh, who's going to pay more for us to not kill them? Ooh, uh, that's the question. Uh, hey, uh, this is, this is the mysterious fog speaking again. Um, okay. we just won't kill you? I mean, I think that's a pretty good deal. Uh, oh, oh, is that how it's going to be? Does the big one speak for all of you? Usually. I am not going to kill someone just because someone said so. That does us no good, and it doesn't return us to where we're supposed to be. So yeah. you come to us. We will not go to you. Oh, well, I was worried it was going to come to this. Uh, and... 
Uh, let, uh, hold on. One second. Okay. No, I just want to say for yeah. what it's worth, I was willing to kill the one riding Roshannon, but no, I'm fine with this. Like, if we're yeah. not, as a group, not going <laughs> to do it, but I was willing to kill the one. The other grumps kind of look at each other and they're like, yeah, I mean, that's fair. Yeah. Um, I briefly considered earthbinding Roshannon just so that it couldn't run away, but I hmm. decided to let that one go. But then it would get dirt all in its nooks and crannies. Oh, that's true. You don't, yeah, nothing worse than a dirty crumpet. Ooh. Mm -mm. No. Ooh. Got like little twigs in the jam. But... Yeah, that's not great. No. And uh, seemingly out of nowhere, uh, <coughs> you are something grabs your feet all of you all six of you something grabs your legs it it appears it looks like a tendril I, I, you're not seeing any grumps reaching out to you but something has grabbed your leg uh and is it is grabbing you tightly and we are now in a combat what uh so give me initiatives if you would please I'll, i will i will call out for them as we go Seven. Okay. Uh, well, well, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, um, uh, Cynthia, what did you get? Seventeen. Ruben. Five minus two is a three. <laughs> nice. Nega. Uh, twelve. Got the reflexes of a cat. <laughs> Abria. 17. Oh, you also got a 17. Yeah, but I'll defer it to the monk. Okay. Okay. Uh, and Marquia. I also got a 12. <laughs> nice. We're a solid group. Yeah. <laughs> we only know like three numbers at a time. Yep. Apparently. <laughs> we have to pass the brain cell between us. <laughs> circle. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Um, uh, what, oh, I just uh, looked at my stat. Apparently I'm supposed to be smart. I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not used to playing a sorcerer with a high intelligence score. Oh, Ryan. Ryan, uh, what is your uh, dexterity uh, uh, modifier? My dex modifier is plus one. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right. Um, the first thing that comes out at you, uh, you are you are grabbed and and it feels like something is tugging on you but 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 nothing is happening quite yet and from uh out of uh out of this fog um a rock comes flying uh through the fog you just have moments uh to try to make uh well to make out what it is and uh uh, Ryan, does a 23 hit? Uh, yeah. Oof, Jesus. Yes. That's what we're dealing with? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, chat helped me think of this, so you can direct all of your... No, I, I'm pretty much 100% to blame for this. Um, uh, okay. Uh, you take, um, 34 bludgeoning. Jeepers! Ooh. Oh my god! Oh. I need to run away! <laughs> Um, uh, so, uh, 34. So I'm on top of the Goliath. <laughs> yeah, you get knocked. You get, well, let's just say that the, uh, the, the tendril that grabbed you pulled you off of the Goliath. Okay, you, great. you, you do not take, uh, any of this damage. Um, do you have any bludgeoning, oh, uh, resistance um, at all? Um, I do have stone's <coughs> endurance, so I want nice. to roll that. Okay. Yeah. So let me find a d12. Come on, d12. Okay. Yep, that's a nice one. Oh, nice. Okay, so um, I resist. I reduce it by 14. Nice. Great. So you take 20 points of damage. All right. Cool. Jeepers. Okay. Oh, cool. 
much better. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, all right, uh, and that is Throat Coats' turn. Uh, Throat coat? That's my favorite tea. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no wonder it's so strong. Oh, it's it it soothed our. Oh, I get yeah. It. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, That's so good. Yes. <laughs> Abria. Uh, um. So wait. I said I was gonna let the monk go before me. Is that oh, okay? Oh. Uh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So cool. Cynthia. Cool. Um. Do 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 do. All right, did we agree that we're attacking the Grumps? Or we attacking? no, I think we are letting the grumps go. But you can call it audible. Do what you want. Live your truth. I'm living my <laughs> truth. I mean, I'm gonna look at the the. I want to look at the fog. Well, actually, I saw my Goliath friend get hit by a thing. Yes. Yeah, he just got smashed with a with a giant rock uh, that just crushed into him, and you know, crossing his arms, and it still it still smashed into him. Is okay. Can I? Like, did he fall, or are you still standing, Brian? I'm still standing. Still standing, yeah. It's a little worse for wear. Honestly, I would like to climb back up onto the Goliath <clears> to get a better vantage point and kind of hold my action, if that's possible. Sure. All right, so you climb back up. I'm going to say, uh, give me a, um, give me an F, excuse me, give me an athletics roll uh, to, to clamber up, because you, you're in combat. This is a little bit stressful. If you can. Just curious, can I do an acrobatics and do like a couple little flips in between all of that? Sure, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> do some dope monk stuff. That'll mm -hmm. be a 22. Yeah, hey. great. So perfect. So you you do some really cool flips and 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 uh, and you land dexterously on top of the Goliath. Uh, but can, and... can I say it like on his belt buckle? Sure, yeah. Yeah. And I won't count that as your turn. You so you are still holding <laughs> an action. Thank um, you. All right, Abria. Uh, so do I? Okay. So can, is it obvious what attacked uh, the Goliath? Golly, uh, Ambius. Uh, is it is it uh, obvious? Uh, and you know a giant rock hit him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the do we? Can I see a point of origin from the rock? Uh, it's really hard to tell with the fog. Uh, the area is heavily obscured. Obscured. In uh, what direction was my body hit? I guess. Uh, it was. Yeah. It was kind of s straight on. Oh, okay. I okay. mean, do you <clears throat> want to do some algebra to try and figure out? <laughs> I mean, I'm a smart wizard. Can yeah. I do some algebra to see where I can center up, like the fireball I'm about to cast? Sure. Just um um. What what would you like to roll to make this happen? Uh, investigation? Okay. Yep. Sweet. I got a 26. Nice. Yeah, so... Uh, oh, sorry, 25. You all, you, you have the numbers and everything, beautiful minding it. It's all yeah. it's all kind of coming in front of you. Uh, and probably because you're a conjuration wizard, you those numbers <coughs> are actually appearing in front of you and you're you're kind of <laughs> yeah. drawing that I stuff out. Me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the, it's like that gif where all the numbers and yep. angles happen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and yeah, you you determined that by the angle that he was hit and uh, where it came from, it looks like if you if you kind of go straight on from the Goliath, uh, it would have had to have been about uh, something like 60 feet in front of you or so. Oh, that's more than I need. I'm going to cast a fireball. <laughs> oh, oh, in, that, in, that. in that direction? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Fireball the darkness. Yep. Okay. Uh, so great. Uh, you got. You have to make a deck save of a fourteen. You ever put a shot of fireball in a cup of throat coat? Yeah, I will now. today. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like college me's like favorite juice. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, let me know what kind of uh, damage happens on that. They do not make it. Uh, 29 points of fire damage. Hey. 29 points of fire damage. Nice work. Very mediocre roll. Yeah. <laughs> but you hit and you hear, ah, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. 
I don't want you to be okay. Uh, uh, Mar Marquia or Nega, which one of you, uh, <clears throat> it would be your dexterity modifier, I believe. Which one of you has a higher dex mod? Um, the saving throw modifier? No, just the dex. dex. Oh, plus three. I also have a plus three, so <laughs> go, go ahead. I'll go after you. Okay. Um, okay, well, I, I, um, I cannot take something that does that much amount of damage head on. So I need to go into stealth yep. um, for this, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll give you, uh, yeah, it's just gonna be, I would give you advantage on this, but this creature can see through the fog, no problem. Uh, so uh, yeah, go for it. Regular, just a straight up um, stealth roll. Okay. Twelve plus three, so fifteen on uh, stealthing right now. Fifteen. Okay. Um, great. Okay. Uh, let's see. He rolled a sixteen on his perception. <clears throat> so uh, I'm telling you now. Uh, how I, about I do I one of my you. inspirations? Oh, okay. To re-roll. Uh huh. I'm gonna use one of the two inspirations to re-roll. Is this your second and one? Let's get something better. Is this your second inspiration? What? Is it your second? Uh, I haven't used ins I haven't okay. used inspiration yet. So this is your first one. Okay. So I got a 17 plus three. So that's a 20. dirty 20. <clears throat> nice, nice. Okay. Um. So, uh, he started to be like, I sit. Oh wait, nope. Never mind. <laughs> Uh, so you are you are hidden at present. Uh, was there anything else? Oh yes. That was your move action. Now that I'm hidden. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so that was my movement. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, is anybody super close to me? Like within five feet. Uh, I, I would say because every... I, I'm my is that my thought is that um, my bonus action is I can use my thieves tools to disarm a trap or open a lock, and since those tendrils are kind of like a trap and a lock at the same time, maybe I can release somebody else. <clears throat> uh, I mean, you are also I I should have noted that you are also uh, you have a tendril around your foot. You were just able to to move with it. Uh, but um, I release myself. You want to try and work to release yourself? Um, yeah, uh, the thieves tools will not avail you in this regard. Uh, they, okay. they're, they're small. They're like picks and stuff like that. This is this is not a lock. This is this is a rather <laughs> thick tendril. So you can try and pry yourself out or, or use a weapon to try to try to hack it off or something like that. Yeah, how about we do my double short swords into a tender spot, like directly into a sucker? Uh, okay. Um, uh, go for it. Okay. Do you want me to roll two dice for both, or do you want me to do, what do you want me to do here? Yeah, roll, roll twice. All right, uh, 15 plus six, and then the other one is six plus six. So one is 12 and one is a number. That number is 21. 21. 21. See? We all got there. <laughs> one of them hits. So roll me damage. Six plus three, five plus three, so eight. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to use, since I'm in stealth, um, I'm going to use, because I can do it once per turn, um, my sneak attack, which gives an additional uh, 3d6 of damage. So I'm going to do that. So that first nice. initial hit is eight. And then let me do 3d6. <clears throat> and this is on the tendril? This is on the tendril. Cool. Okay. So that's four and five. So that's nine plus one more. 
which is four. So nine, so that's 13 plus eight. 21. Uh, which is 21. So 21 of damage. Okay. Nice. Uh, so yeah, so you strike out and you hit the tendril. Um, and it, uh, it releases you. Um, and the rest of you feel a shudder in your, your legs where the tendril has you, but uh, they, it's still holding on tight to the other five of you. Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Nega. So, since, since we've adventured together for so long now, would I potentially happen to know how squishy Squall is in terms of uh, armor class? Yeah. <laughs> right? Would I know that? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Sure. In which Pretty case, squishy. What's what's your armor class then? You squishy? 14. You a squishy little bean? Um, <laughs> I am going to then use one of my, uh, I'm guessing we're still within close distance of each other, right? Yeah. Still... Yeah. You're, you're about five feet away from each other. Okay. Um, I would like to reach over to Squall and uh, just put a put a very light touch hand on squall um and use one of my druid spells and cast bark skin to give you a little bit of protection. Nice. great <laughs> um Aww. so now now your ac can't be less than 16 so thank god give, give thank, you thank your that. druid god uh <laughs> will will do uh and then i would like to try to i'd like it, the tendril that's on our feet mm -hmm. are, are we seeing where it's what the point of origin is for it or is hmm. the mist to you know the fog to uh, uh yeah it's it is going into the mist you cannot you cannot see exactly uh you can see the direction that the tendril is going and you, if you look at other people's feet you can see that all of the tendrils are sort of going to a point uh but uh yeah so you do see that okay um, I'm not trying to get out of the tendril. I'd actually like to try and work with it then and kind of like put hand over hand on it. Um, like I'm climbing a rope to mm -hmm. pearl inward to the point of origin. I'm trying to move to where it's originating, but not uh -huh. try and break free of its grasp, I guess. Okay. Uh, so you're willingly letting it take you closer, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. So yeah, you you start pulling hand over fist, uh, pulling the tendril as if it was a rope, and moving in, and it just kind of follows around your uh, your leg, and it just uh, continues on as you try to move your way towards it. And uh, as you walk, you do indeed see uh, what looks like um, a. Uh, well, you know, I'm just going to say it. Uh, it 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 looks like a uh, stalagmite with an eyeball. Oh, okay. And uh, lots of pointy teeth. That's cool. Uh, that's just going to happen a lot. But uh, yeah, that's what you see. Uh. Uh, Ruben knows what it is. <laughs> can I can I use uh, Nega's action as a cover for what my action's going to do right behind her? Yes. Great. I would like to blow one of my darts at the in the direction that um Abriata, uh Abria did. But like using Nega's uh action as like a distraction so no one knows that I'm blowing this. Okay. No. Oh, that is not happening at all, because that was a natural one. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> do you have inspiration? I do! I have one more. Thank God, thank you for reminding me. Hey. There we go. Nat 20 plus 7 hey. is a 27. Nice. <laughs> Great. Okay, that hits. And What's your damage? Damage is uh, 8. Don't forget, did you double the dice? No. You got a natural 20, yeah? Dice so nice, you roll yeah. them twice. Yes. Yeah, get it, get it. Well, that's another. That's just a 1. <clears throat> 9. But, it, <laughs> but it's more. It's right. more. <laughs> Nine damage. <laughs> They're little darts. <laughs> hey, hey! I kind of stung a little bit. <laughs> That's all you hear. Um. Okay. Uh. 
Ryan. All right. So I'd like to take an action to light up a torch to start trying to clear some of the fog. Okay. Nice. And then um, my second action would be to take that torch and burn the tentacle that's trapping my leg. Okay. Cool. So you light the torch and the fog does not disperse with the mm. flame. Uh, it, it, it certainly lights up and the rest of you who are five feet or more away from Ryan see this glow, see the fog kind of glow a bit, but it, it is not revealing anything more to you. But then you will uh, try to light this tendril on fire, essentially. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, cool. Just give me an attack. All right. And that attack is, let me see, 18. Uh, 18. Uh, so you go down with with the torch and, and you try to stab the torch into uh, with the flame uh, on the torch, but it, it just seems to be flickering off the tendril. Uh, it, it, it does no permanent damage, it seems like. You missed. Ah, okay. Wow. All right. Um... Okay, and now it is its turn. So, uh, everybody but Marquia is held by this. So, it is going to reel you in. Um, you are all essentially grappled with it, and it will mm -hmm. pull you all 25 feet straight toward it. So, you all just get this... Uh, feeling of of this immense strength as the tendril tightens uh and you are suddenly yanked from where you were and pulled in and you are dragged and you see it, even you nega who who are, who is right there essentially you now all see what nega was looking at uh, except for you markia because you got out of yours uh you all see what uh was presented yes it is a roper uh it is mr roper uh, and uh, he is wearing a muumuu because that's oh, what he no. does. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so he pulls you Love in, and uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. They roll a. Uh, okay, um, uh, does a 19 hit, and uh, this will be Ruben, uh, Abria, Ryan, and Nega. Does a 19 oh, yeah. hit you? 19, yep. 19 absolutely hits me. Yep. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, uh, no, it's not. It's not fantastic? I think it, no. it's pretty cool, I think. <laughs> I disagree. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you all take uh, 10, 10 points of damage. Okay. Uh, as a reaction, can I use my Hellish Rebuke? Yes. Sweet. Nice. Yes. Mm. And I just scream, no touching. <laughs> <laughs> and the grumps all point and go, see, consent, see, see. <laughs> uh, make a deck save against a 13. Uh, I will, uh, it's, a, it's a roper, so Dex is a strong. Po uh, I'm just kidding, it's not. Uh, yeah. It failed. Cool. Uh, you're Woo. gonna take 26 points of fire damage. Uh, okay. Uh, I think that was my best roll of the night. Nice. Nice work. Okay, very cool. Yes, it is sufficiently rebuked. Um, and it kind of. <laughs> It's one eye kind of goes kind of downtrodden and it's like, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm still going to eat you, though. Uh, and um, Fair enough. Uh, it has one more thing and then it will take a bite oh. out of a Bria because you just did this. That's How fair. dare you? Um <laughs> Let's see. Uh, does a uh, 25 yes. hit? <laughs> uh, yes. 20, Nothing you're going to say. 20 <laughs> piercing. Gonna. 20 piercing. Oh, I am Deeper. still technically up. 
<laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. I hit so much, it's like being blackout drunk where you're like, the body's moving, but the mind has left. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ruben. Okay. Time for some magic. And <laughs> I'm going to pull out uh, from, from my chest pocket uh, a bit of fur and a rod of crystal. And I'm going to start Ooh. rubbing the crystal in my hand. It's not dirty or anything. And I'm going to cast Lightning Bolt at third level uh, at in a 100-foot line where I'm being pulled to. Okay. I need a uh, dexterity saving throw of 11 because I am I am a sorcerer with plus zero to my charisma. <laughs> uh, it fails. Yay! Get ready for 8d6 lightning damage. I'm ready. I'm Petition. ready. Petition to buy Ruben a second fucking d6. <laughs> <laughs> Are <laughs> some thirty five lightning damage. Thirty five. Nice. I'm rolling I'm rolling my, my dice that Cynthia got me. It only has one of each. So. Aw. They're really pretty. Yeah, I like these. Thirty five uh. lightning damage with my girlfriend dice. Aw. Aw. Nice. Ha <laughs> ha. Take that. Hey! See? What did I ever do to you? I mean I haven't even you eaten you yet. Me and then reeled me in. Yeah. Right. So, turn about is fair play. I guess so. Uh, uh, and then uh, I'm going to use my bonus action. Um, actually, you know what? I'll just keep those for now. Uh, yep, that's it. That's my turn. Um, great. Uh, so the, the grumps who are around you all join uh, tentacles and they form a small circle and uh, you you can't hear them. They don't seem to be talking, but a a wave of psychic energy uh, hits all of you um, and uh, heals you for 10 hit points. Hey, we all get healed for 10. Yes. Nice. Do we get any uh, additional if we didn't necessarily take damage yet? Yeah. No, no, no. These are not temporary hit points. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Good thing I took exactly 10. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Top of the order. Throat coat's turn. No! As you Wait, are... Throat coat. Is throat coat the same thing as the... As the is throat coat the roper? No. No. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, so out of the fog, um, coming up above the roper, floating above the roper is a giant teacup. This is the best you can possibly ah. uh, tell with a steaming uh, uh, cup of tea inside of it that is causing the billowing fog to go uh, out. And um, it okay. it. Uh, it it's uh, the the handle on the on the teacup uh, whips out and uh, attacks, and um, it is going to attack. Uh, well, I'm just going to roll a six here. It's a tea party now. Okay, uh, Ruben. What? Hi. Uh, and uh, uh, Ryan. Ooh. It. It is swinging at both of you. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Ruben does a 17 hit. Yes. That's a 20 piercing. Ouch. Ryan Ooh. does a 15 hit. No. Okay, great. Uh, it it whiffs as as it as it slams and connects onto Ruben. Uh, it uh, it takes another swing at you, and um, uh, it just glances off of your armor uh, and does not do appear to do any damage to you. Uh, okay, uh, Cynthia. Okay, so how far down is throat coat to Mister Roper? Uh, it, he's essentially kind of hovering over Mr. Roper. 
And am I to assume that Mr. Roper is kind of center and there's other like um, other stones going up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are other stalagmites kind of near near Mr. Roper, whether they're Ropers as well. You I mean, your whole reality has been shifted. But yes, uh, Mr. Roper's stalagmites in Mr. Roper's neighborhood. (laughs) Yes, yes. (laughs) I mean, you might say that three that there are three and that's company, honestly. Yeah. Right. (laughs) Um, And how tall is our lovely Goliath in comparison to the Roper and um, throat coat? Uh, I mean, throat coat, throat coat is huge. Uh, and the Roper is large and a Goliath, I believe is a Goliath large. I think a Goliath is just regular, just regular, just really big, like seven feet, eight feet tall, it's something still like just that. A, the same five by five square. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so the Roper is much taller than, than fair Goliath. Okay. Okay. There goes my plan. Cool. So I'm going to take my short sword and I'm going to try to cut the, um, cut the tendril. The tentacle. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Great. Um go for it. Give me give me your attack roll. Yeah, Goliath not. is Goliath's big, but not quantified as large, looks like. Yeah, yeah Goliath is about eight feet. Yeah. Thirteen. Uh thirteen. Uh glances off of the Roper's tendril. Um it it it's it is a thick skin. You are definitely uh, you're chipping away, but it's not doing anything. Mm, can I? You, I'm going to use my bonus action, so it's going to go cut. And I'm going <clears> to <throat> punch it real hard. Okay. Yeah, not as great either. That's a ten. Yeah, so you yeah. didn't punch very hard. <laughs> no, and and honestly, your 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 hand kind of goes. Ugh, it's a, it's it's that's a lot. Yeah. Um. Abria. Uh, how how hurt does the Roper look? Um, it's. I mean, is he just chilling? <laughs> would you? What do you want me to say? You want me to say is it bloodied? I yeah. I would like to know. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm like meta game. I'm trying to figure out if it makes more sense for me to try to like disentangle myself from the Roper or just try to finish off the Roper so we're all okay. It's it's um it's it's not doing great. Okay, well then we're just gonna fireball it again. So deck yeah. save against a fourteen. Nice. We do what we do, which is just yeet fire. Can you can you draw me a picture? Give me a theater of the mind of where things are laid out. <laughs> oh, and, do you not want to uh, be hit by a fireball right now? I would not. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I was hoping that Mr. Roper and the teacup could be in the same fireball zone. Yeah, so uh, you said that the uh, throat coat was hovering above Mr. Roper, yeah? Yes. Is there a way I can center the fireball betwixt them to catch them in the radius? Uh, yes, there is. Cool. I'm going to split that diff and hit them both so they can both make a deck save. Much better roll. Uh. Oh, you can't see this. Never mind. I can't even show it to you. That this is this is for <laughs> chat. Then uh, this is chat. Okay, there you go. Um. Yeah, no, none, none of you will get caught in this. Okay, what was it then? Uh, uh, so deck save of 14. Deck save of 14. Okay, the Roper does not make it. Cool. The Roper is going to take 39 points of fire damage. Woo! Okay. Wow. The, yeah. the Cloud Giant does not make it. Cloud For- Giant? What? What? Um, excuse me? <laughs> what? Uh, do they both take 39 points of damage then? They do. Wow. That was a pretty hefty roll. Ooh. They're both Sussexes. still up. Oh my god, no! Well, um, goodbye, everybody. <laughs> he sneezes at me. I'm gonna go ahead and just lay down. Uh, I'll take that right here. Putting out damage. That's, that's pretty good. Markia. Yes. Okay. 
So the cloud giant has gone down. It's not a cloud giant. It's a giant teacup full of tea. Right. It's a giant teacup. <laughs> it's a giant teacup of clouds. I don't know why I said cloud giant. That's just the first thing that came to the top of my head. Because right. I, I was like, why hasn't my rogue run away at this point? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so... Squall is going to utilize the environment of this fog because this is what they do. Yeah. This is how they live. So yeah. um, one of the top things then would be to release uh, either our top damage person or our fighter at this point. <laughs> so they can at least throw themselves in front of other people. Okay. Um, so looking around, keeping in mind that my, my movement speed is 30 feet. Um, who would be closer to me, our top damage person or our fighter? Uh, Abria is the closest to you. Okay. Um, then I'm going to use my movement to get to Abria. I'm going to do double attack with my short swords. Um, to uh, like this, this would be like, I'm out of the mist, smack! And then I'm going to use my bonus action to be like, and now I hide. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So take a, take a bonus action to disengage, basically. Yeah, um, my bonus okay. action will be to disengage. Um, okay. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for double short swords into the tentacle to release our high hitter. Sounds good. Leans in as that happens and just like oh, that was my last. Bonus yes, <laughs> one's a natural twenty, um, and then the other is a fifteen plus six. So one's a natural twenty and one's a twenty-six. Uh, oh, both hit. Roll great. damage. Um, I'm going to use my, um, I can do it once per turn. I'm going to use, since I'm in sneak attack, um, on the natural 20, I'm doing the 3d6. Wait, yep. don't I get something for it being a natural 20 though? Yes. You, you double roll twice. The double the so dice. So your 3d6 will become 6d6. Well, actually it'd be 4d6 so it'll be because, um, I get you have your sneak attack damage plus three and naturally. These your are my, damage, yeah. my sneak attack ones. Okay. So this 4d6 is about to be doubled. Yep. Yeah, so it'll be 8d6. Eight, eight eight. Rogue crits! Yay! Yeah. Rogue fireball! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let me get some more uh, d6s The thing about fireball is I can do it from over there. <laughs> eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chat, you and me, uh, I can talk to you right now. They don't know about a roper. What? Go ahead, roll your damage. Okay. Uh, this is for the double damage. I got three sixes, so that's 18, a five. Uh, yeah. That's 23, um, and then another three, that's 26, and then a two, 28. 28, another two, that's 30, so 31 for one of those hits. Uh-huh. And then for, do I get the, the sneak attack thing for the second hit also? I'll tell, I'll tell you now, you hit, you hit, and with that first attack, the second attack doesn't even matter. The tendril releases Abria's character. <laughs> okay. Is there <laughs> any you. tendrils within five feet of me? <laughs> uh, no, no. That okay. was that was the closest one to you. Okay, then um, I I will take my <laughs> I, I will take the uh, the hide action to be like um. Uh, Squall looks uh, at Scathor like in the face and goes, <laughs> McCavity! And then somersaults back. I was <laughs> really hoping we could make an entire <laughs> show without having a Cats reference in here. I at love all. you. I'm um, so sorry. I, had I love to. you so much. Uh. <laughs> and disappear into the fog. <laughs> Nega. You have a chance, you have an opportunity to end it here. Oh, wow. Thanks for the pressure. <laughs> and, and the now. roper. Woo. Uh, I'm going to try and do a nice, good old fashioned stabby stab on the. I'm, or actually, yes, yes, to break the grapple. They're grappling us, technically, right? Uh, they are, yes. Uh, and then just just to be clear, we're in a cave that is like, is it a is it a low ceiling in here? Can we see anything outside or no? No, no. Yeah, the, it's uh, I mean, it's about 60 feet up uh, and it's it's around, I would say, about 100 and 100 or so feet in circumference. 
Okay. Okay. I will, uh, yeah, I'll attempt to break the grapple with a nice little stab to the tendril that's on me. Great. Which is a 25 to hit. Nice. Uh, that hits. My gosh, amazing. Now if only I could do some damage. Uh, only six damage. Woo. Um, the roper, um, wait, you were attacking the tendril? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, the tendril is still holding on to you. Oh, okay. That's <clears throat> less fun than I was hoping. Um, I will... Is there anything else within the range of movement for me? Like, can I get... If, if I didn't break free from that, um, realistically, how far is, am I, I mean, from... I the, mean, the roper's head is essentially right in front of you. Okay. <sighs> Punch it in the head. I don't think I... Because I, I can't do that as a bonus action, though, right? Because that was my action, trying to oh. break the grapple, right? Right. Yeah, I don't think I have anything that I can do that's super useful for my bonus action. You could check on um under bonus action just to make absolutely certain. Yeah, if you something. I just have a. I don't think druids. Uh, I don't think you get any uh, combat actions on your bonus on bonus I, actions. I'm pretty sure. I have I have one, which is if I'm holding. Uh, a different weapon in my other hand, I can use it for a second mm. attack, but mm -hmm. uh, I am not holding another weapon. So. <laughs> okay. So unfortunately right. I'm done. <laughs> what kind of druid are you? Um, I am, oh God, I'm from the... Do, 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 do. I think Circle of Land, maybe? I, I'm or Circle no. of Land, land. yeah, okay. and then specifically... Um, if you were woods. a moon druid, you could turn into an octopus or something. <laughs> No, oct no octopus powers here, unfortunately. And would it be like yeah. a, a Bugs Bunny situation when Bugs Bunny right. like dresses up like a girl and try and get the the roper to, yeah. I can I can climb like a spider, but not you know <laughs> not as a bonus action. So. Uh, okay. Um, uh, Ryan. All right. I um I take. How far am I from the roper right now? Uh, you're five feet away from the rope. the The roper itself. You're five feet Wait. away. I will. I will hit it with my longsword. Great. I have two attacks. Awesome. So. Okay. Roll well, high. one was a. I rolled a one, so that's not going to hit. Yeah. You can. Uh, do you have any other thingies? I, thingies? I still have inspiration. In fact, I'll re-roll it with inspiration. Okay. All right. Oh, much better. Um, that is a um, 21. That hits. Yay. Okay. Um, do you want me to roll all of the attacks first or all of or Just give me the damage first? from that one. Okay. And then damage. Come on, let me get my dolls. Right. And that is a, um, that is 10 points of damage. Okay. Describe how you've killed this roper. Yeah. Right. So I just grab my long sword, just look straight at the roper, and without any words, just slowly impale as the blade pierces through its skin until nice. the hilt um, is engulfed and pull it back out. And then I look at the teacup uh wow yeah so awesome you all are released and dog that teacup you all are released from the tendrils and as the roper dies the teacup who was floating above him starts weeping oh. and and he goes no no my partner how could you life is not worth living without him and he falls, and he falls and is impaled on the roper. The roper's wow. head goes through uh, the teacup noodle. and uh, comes through the tea, uh, which has a gelatinous nature to it um, and is absolutely crushed and killed. 
uh, and from behind, uh, the the cloud giant uh, comes butt circle. Uh, and the, I say the cloud giant, I mean the teacup. Uh, we all know, uh, Miss, uh, his nickname you. is cloud giant. Uh, <laughs> and the, the teacup you see, um, was actually, there's like a hundred tiny little stab backstab wounds on, on the back of this thing as a uh, butt circle. The, yeah. 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 Um, mm. has been attacking it. And, uh, well done. You have defeated uh, what was, yes, a cloud giant and a roper, uh, collectively known as Throat Coat. Um, Butt Circle <laughs> then uh, says, uh, I, I didn't think we could get out of that, but uh, but well done. I will transport you back to the surface and then we will we will uh, continue with the ritual to get you onto the saucer. Excellent. Oh. Good. Whew. Wait. Are we? Do we have to fight more? Uh, I mean, unless there's something, and the as the the fog dissipates, uh, and yeah. you see you see that there's yes. I I need to search for treasure. Loot. And, uh, I think this time this this is this is the time. Uh, we have to. <laughs> Squall is just like. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, give me give me a uh, uh a perception roll. Okay. And Cloud Giant's gonna have some good loot. Uh, could could I make a uh, um, an argument shards. that since you know, kind of like when you get into a batter circle, like you'll take two bats and you'll swing with it, so that when you swing one, you're just really better at it. Since there was all the mist and everything, I'm gonna argue that sight is even more clear. <laughs> I'm trying, to, I'm trying to roll with advantage. Okay. <laughs> can I give can I give her one of my points of inspiration so she can roll with advantage? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I recognize that tone of voice. That's a, that's a familiar sure. Yeah. I need I need imaginary loot. <laughs> oh, okay, with advantage 15 plus 6. Um I'm sorry, 15 plus 5 because it's perception, so dirty 20. The dirtiest 20. The other uh, one was a four, so I needed that advantage. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, looking through, looking around, you uh, put a hand as you're kind of looking around uh, the the teacup's uh, crushed and crumpled uh, body, as if, if you could call it that. And yeah. uh, you put a hand on a stalagmite, and the stalagmite kind of tips over. And uh, underneath the stalagmite, you find probably the largest hoard of gold and items that you have ever seen shining uh swords uh uh mythical objects you have only heard of uh and and the grumps just kind of go like oh yeah oh that's where i put it right <laughs> and then they go okay are we ready to go uh i call i call over uh Traboros. <laughs> and toss them whatever would work out of that for them. For the weapon? Yeah. Great. Ready. Nice. And, and, then, uh, uh, and then everybody else, I'm like, it's right there. Cause just the finding it was for me. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> And uh, and you do that, and you all have um, uh, wonderful magic items. This is completely Adventures League legal, uh, so you have everything Ooh. you could possibly want. You're probably level nice. 20 now, uh, and uh, yeah, wonderful. Nice. Good job, everybody. Thank you very much. You have defeated Throat Coat uh, and are moving on to the next stage. Uh, but with that, we must say goodbye to you. But before we leave, uh, please tell the fine folks in chat where they can find you. Let's start with Abria. Hi, uh, I'm Abrea Iyengar. You can catch me on social media at Quiddy, Q-U-I-D-D-I-E. I stream a bunch. Catch me here soon. Uh, so season three of Pirates of Salt Bay is coming back April 14th, but sometime between now and then, we'll be doing a chat back episode. So keep an eye on the socials and see when that's coming down. Uh, Nega. Hi, I'm Nega Oryx. You can find me on all social medias with the exact same name because I'm the only one silly enough to um, make up something <laughs> ridiculous as that. Uh, you can also catch me here on the cast of Pirates of Salt Bay with the lovely, wonderful Abria. I'm super excited for the new season. So uh, come ask questions in the chat back. Otherwise I will talk way too much and 
Uh, no one wants that. So please, <laughs> thank you for having me. This was so much fun. Thank you. Uh, Ruben. Hi, I'm Mox Ruby. That's what it says there. Um, you can follow me everywhere, M-O-X-R-E-U-B-Y. Uh, the next season of The Broken Pact will hopefully be coming someday. Uh, but until then, you can check out the Dungeons & Dragons official YouTube channel and watch the first three seasons of The Broken Pact, uh, which is the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica show on D&D and Saving Throw show. I am also one of the co-hosts of the uh, Magic the Gathering podcast, Magic Mics. That's M-I-C-S. It's a pun. Um, that is Wednesdays. That is, yeah, <laughs> boo. That is Wednesdays uh, at uh, 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific. Uh, we also have top tens on coolstuffinc.com. And um, I'm also recently now the voice of a YouTube channel called American Eye, which is a bunch of clickbait, like top ten lists and stuff. <laughs> um, where you can see me count down the creepiest cemeteries and stuff like that. So check that out. Very cool. Uh, Cynthia. You're muted. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> okay, cool. So I'm Cynthia Marie, who is now recently unmuted. Woohoo! You can find me on Twitter at sin dancer or on instagram cynthia underscore underscore marie um la by night just finished season four but my epilogue will be coming up soon and we just introduced uh season five so see, uh, stay tuned for that nice um just did sirens yesterday and um hopefully we'll be coming back with some more regular uh stuff so stay tuned for that i'm also co-host on podcast with ryan omega life action role play so check out some of our stuff there um, gee whiz, there's other things that it is floating about. Just check out my social. I'll let you know when it happens. But yeah, have a good one. Awesome. Uh, Ryan. Hi, I'm Ryan Omega. You can find me on Twitter under Ryan OMGA on Facebook and um, Instagram under Ryan Omega. You could find me on the show Blank Slate, um, which is currently in reruns um, on twitch.tv slash scabby rooster on Tuesday evenings, but we will be starting with a online version called Blank Slate Timeless, where we're going to be various timeless or godlike entities and exploring their stories. Um, yeah, Marie and I are um, are part of a podcast called Life Action Roleplay. The next podcast is coming out on um, April 1st, and we're talking about um, the different ways that we do character backgrounds. And also on the React channel um, under YouTube as one of the adult reactors. So you can see me react to various um, strange things on the internet. Awesome. And Markia. Hey, uh, so I'm Markia McCarty. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Markia McCarty. That's M-A-R-K-E-I-A-M-C-C-A-R-T-Y. Facebook is Markia TV. Uh, and um, Twitch is Darth Markia. <laughs> So uh, you probably have seen me on a Geek and Sundry, Nerdist, um, Tempting Fate right here on Saving Throw Show, and I've even done Scabby Rooster with uh, Ryan Omega. Super fun. Uh, so, but for right now, um, I, uh, if you go to YouTube, go youtube.com slash snarled. Um, I am the voice story editor, <laughs> narrator, and a whole bunch of things for um, Something Scary. Uh, we have animated horror episodes that drop every Tuesday. Uh, it is uh, original content and user submitted horror stories that we punch up and put out into the world. And uh, also the podcast is available anywhere where you get your podcasts. Just look for something scary. <laughs> Very cool. Well, thank you to all of you. Thank you for joining uh, me thank for you, this Tom. session. You were amazing. Yeah. And uh, we will catch up with you. Uh, maybe if you can, you can join us for the movie watch later tonight. Uh, that's going to be around 10 o'clock. But uh, yeah, I hope that you can join us for that. And in the meantime, uh, I will uh, I will talk to you all later. Bye. So, Thank bye. you. Bye, everybody. Bye.